Hey, Deepwater, welcome to our Christmas Eve special. This has been a crazy and unique year for many of us. We've been navigating these unprecedented times, but I must say it's been an honor and a privilege serving you as the acting lead pastor. Oh, hey. Hey, hey AJ, man. what's up, man? What's up? Not much. How, how you been? I'm doing good. Let me slide over, man. man. Where are my keys? Got the keys right oh, here for you, bro. Thanks, man. So as Matthew said, this has been a pretty crazy time, and I want to thank you, Matthew, for being such an excellent leader, for keeping your hands on the wheel, and for leading us through this difficult time. It's been my pleasure, AJ. Thank you. But we're super excited to have you back behind the wheel. Well, I'm really glad to be back behind the wheel. Buckle up, deep water. Grab a candle. And enjoy this Christmas Eve special. Whoa, 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 whoa. You sure you want to drive? The roads are pretty icy. Roads? Where we're going? We don't need roads. It doesn't even make sense. We're on a road right now. You are just in time! I am about to read the great story of Jesus Christ, the Christmas story. Would you like to join me? <laughs> okay! I will start from the beginning. <sighs> At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus, he decreed that a census should be taken throughout the entire Roman Empire. This is a big space. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged. And Mary, uh, she was expecting a baby. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger. Because there were no lodgings available for them. <laughs> Wait a minute. What in the boiled bush does this mean? <laughs> I thought... I thought this was about Jesus Christ, the king of the universe. No lodgings. What kind of a king has no lodgings? I mean, he is the king. Oh, that's the whole point. Ah! 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 What in the name of Stroganov are you? You are green skin. Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm Reggie. Perhaps you've heard of me from my podcast, Reginald Talks to Things. <laughs> no. No? Oh. Anyway, the point is that Jesus isn't like other kings. He didn't come with fancy crowns or jewels, and he wasn't rich or famous. He didn't have a golden throne. He didn't even live in a palace. <laughs> this does not sound like any king to me. Oh, well, I know it sounds kind of kind of backwards, but that's just how God chose to be with us. Just a humble baby in a dirty manger come to save the world.
I am still confused. All right, so, no castle, no fancy, fancy dresses, no crowns. But, but I have one question for you. How are the people supposed to know? Oh, this is a good part. <gasps> Let's keep on reading. <laughs> okay. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the glory of the Lord shine surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them. Do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news, and that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find him wrapped snugly in same cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by vast hosts of other armies of heaven, praising God, saying glory to God, highest in heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. <laughs> when all the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds say to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem!
Reggie, I think I... Reg! Reginald! Oh, sorry. Uh, I just really love that song. Uh, I did not mean to startle you. Listen, uh, I think I'm starting to understand now, and it's truly magnificent. Oh, right? I mean, if I could seem something like this, <laughs> I would have to tell everybody. Oh, well, of course, and that's exactly what they did. The shepherds, they hurried to the village of Bethlehem, where they found exactly what the angels had told them about. I know. There was, there was Mary, and there was Joseph, yes. and, and the baby. They're lying in the manger, wrapped in snuggly cloth. Is the king. Yeah, the king. The king of the universe. Yeah, the king of the universe. <laughs> wrapped up in the cloth. King Jesus. Baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and after they saw him, uh, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angels had said to them about this child. Uh, I'm going to keep reading. Yeah, keep doing that. All who heard the shepherd's story, they were astonished. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> but Mary, she kept all these things in her heart. And she thought about them often. And the shepherds, they went back to their flocks. They were glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and all they had heard. It was just as the angel had told them.
so you see, King Jesus, the joy of all people. The light of the world. Oh, come on. Ah, ah. He came to us humbly as a baby in a dark and lowly manger. And forever that light will shine in the darkness. And the darkness will never overcome it. We're not one, going two. to do one, two, three, and then go. One, two, Merry Christmas. One, two, three. We don't actually say three. Okay. All right. I, I'm on, I, I think I know the game plan. I will let you count. Uh-oh. Okay. One, two, Merry Christmas. Christmas. No, we have to say deep water. Deep. Oh. That's Merry, me. Okay, Merry, let's do it again. Merry Christmas, deep water. Do me to count again? Okay. Okay. Like among among Sesame Street, I'm going one, two, the number of the day. Are you uh, counting? Okay. One, two. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Deep Water! water!